Today we're going to be working on my Audi 2007 A8 D3. We're going to do some proactive maintenance, changing out the spark plugs and ignition coils. Let's get started. All right, the beauty of the Audi and the engine, everything's nicely uh, accessible from the front. And the kit that I purchased is from FCP Euro. We've got the Denso ignition coils and NGK spark plugs. So we need to pull the spark plugs out and check the gap. Let's do that next. Okay, I got all the spark plugs taken out of the boxes. All eight, again, went with the Laser Platinum NGK. There's a the part number again. This is part of a kit from FCP Euro. And I went to Total Technique. These guys call out for the 4.2 V8. Spark plug gap is 0.032. So we're going to check the gap on all eight of these. We've got the little spark plug gap tool. It gives us a handy reading and see where we're at. All right, I checked all of the spark plug gaps and all but one was within uh, the tolerance of uh, 0.32. So I made that one adjustment. Um, one thing I'll point out, the technique also included the model and the year of Audi cars that fit that spark plug gap. So I'll include a link to this video in the description. All right, so for the first thing we're gonna do, um, T25 to loosen these up. This is the harness. You can see I got one missing there. And that's so that we can loosen this up and disconnect from the ignition coils. And that's on both sides. So we'll loosen that up. Get this one out back here. We'll have to disconnect the air box and um, regular Phillips screws to get the air box off. And uh, we've got, looks like, flathead loosen the clamp so that we can get the mass airflow sensor out of the way all right let's do that next okay i got the air box mass airflow sensor off as well and i told you wrong this is a t20 based on my my car so we're going to get those screws out and then we'll be able to start uh, disconnecting the harness push down and then you're supposed to slide this out that way and then we'll just hand pull each of the ignition coils out. All right, we got the harness disconnected from the ignition coils. Next, we'll start pulling these out and then we'll get access to the spark plugs. All right, I've got the ignition coils out. One tip, um, if you're having trouble getting the harness disconnected, just use a flathead screwdriver. If you push the little clip down here, um, put the flathead right there at the top of the the black part of the wiring harness and then just kind of wiggle it free and that'll help you get it disconnected so next look let's uh let's get what we need to get down in there and you can start to see the spark plug that we got to pull out all right five eight socket is what we're going to use long and narrow made for getting spark plugs out so let's get in there and um uh, counterclockwise to loosen them out. Okay, I've got all of the spark plugs loosened and I have a long pair of needle nose pliers which makes it really easy to get down in there. You can grab it and then pull it out. All right, we'll just repeat the process and put the new spark plugs in, reverse the process, and let's go from there. Okay, I got all the spark plugs out. Here's what they look like. Yeah, I guess they weren't too bad off. But I'm not a spark plug expert either. So anyway, let's get the new ones in. And we'll reverse the process. Okay, I got the new spark plugs in. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm just using adjust the extension and the, the socket there and hand tighten them and so next we'll just make them snug with the wrench not a lot of torque there 
Okay, I got the new coils in, and make sure you push them down far enough. I just use the, the, the palm of my hand uh, around the thumb and just press until I can't get down any, any further, but you'll feel it slip into place and um, into a secure fashion. So you wanna make sure they're down there and they're gonna sit on top of that spark plug. So after you do that, then you can start to slide the wire harness back onto each of the ignition coils and then we'll screw that into place. Okay, got the uh, harness back connected. Now we're just gonna repeat it on the other side. So let's get started. Okay, got the other side done. Got the air box and the mass airflow sensor reconnected. Ready to start her up and take her for a test drive. Hope you found this video helpful. If you would like and subscribe and good luck with your car.